The Temple of Artemis. A wonder to a god that was built twice. So originally, one of the first, uh, one of the seven wonders of the world, uh, any tourist would love to travel to. Uh, you got the Great Pyramids, the Hanging Gardens, Temple of Artemis, Statue of Zeus, Mausoleum, Colossus of Rhodes, and the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Uh, Temple of Artemis was built uh, third after the Hanging Gardens, but uh, it's interesting. It actually was destroyed around 356 BC and then rebuilt later on. So you have kind of an interesting thing here. A, uh, yeah, 550, 356, destroyed. 323, rebuilt. And then uh, 262 uh, AD, uh, is, it was actually destroyed uh, for good. So uh, in its final build, it was actually built by the people of uh, Ephesos on that, uh, that island there. And uh, it was built to a god. And now... Uh, here we have uh, from Antipar of Sidon, his list of the worlds of seven wonders. He says, I have set eyes on the walls of the lofty Babylon, on which is a road for chariots, a statue of Zeus by Alphaeus, the hanging gardens, the Colossus, huge labor of the high pyramids, the vast tomb of the Maus uh, Mausolus. Uh, you, we know the mausoleum. But when I saw the house of Artemis that mounted to the clouds, those other marbles lost their brilliance. And I said, lo, apart from Olympus, the sun never looked uh, on so, aught so grand. So, yeah, he's saying he, he kind of ranks it ab above all of the other seven wonders. Um, so, is built to the goddess Artemis. Um, and then uh, you have its whereabouts kind of located in the middle of a sea. And currently there's the ruins right now. You can still go and look at them. But yeah, it was it was built kind of around a, a place where Greeks and Romans could uh, could uh, travel to, uh, surrounded by other wonders actually. Among the sea. So now, in Seven Wonders Duel, the board game, what's the strategy with this beautiful wonder? Um, so the the actual thing that I'd say is, and this is just one track that you can use, but for Temple of Artemis, it's great. You can store up money and jumpstart your economy early in the game. I'd say you could build it um, and grab a, a card that you really need, uh, preferably one of these Age 1 cards, um, one of these Age 1 Lumberyard, Claypool, or Quarry. Um, the, you want to look, the uh, Wood Reserve is what you definitely want, but any time you want some of these yellow cards. Um, so yeah, build it early, jumpstart your economy. Early game, if you're playing it, secure one of each resource. Always stay above three coins to keep your options open. Kind of the world's your oyster with this wonder. Military science points is your call. Um, here's some options that you might consider in age one. You've got the money for it, so get Palisade, or Palisade sorry, as a uh, military. You can build it later on in the third age, fortifications for free. Um, scriptorium combos into library and pharmacist combos into dispensary those ones only needing co two coins as well if you're going to get 12 coins that'll be pennies to you and in age two i kind of looked uh here's the cost of the wonder if you have a stone and a wood already you're going to put those maybe a little higher priority than clay uh if you're getting this wonder you're going to have rostrum and then you're going to build into the senate there's three of the resources you'd need. Building archery range, you're going to combo into the Siege Workshop. Uh, that's just a really great card to have in general to stop your opponent from winning in military. And if they don't stop you, then you can just finish it uh, in the late game. So do not allow this wonder to go unbuilt. If you go into the late game as it, it, with, as your fourth wonder, and uh, you're wrong there. You want it to be one of your first or second wonders, in my opinion. Um and I'm pretty confident about that. Maybe some of the ones Piraeus and um, and the Lighthouse you might want to do before it, but very closely before. You, you need to have a lot of coins in the beginning of the game, uh, and then you won't need coins later on if you build up your economy. So if you go military route, you want to deny your opponent from fighting back. Um, Praetorium is just notorious for costing the most coins of anything, but if you have a ton of coins, that's no problem. If you could do a points game, you're going to have a lot of coins, if you set yourself up right from the beginning. And in my opinion, the 12 coins it gives you is greater than the four points 
that uh, you would have at the end of the game with that because you can use those coins to get way more than four points. And if you go a science route, um, you know, if you need that one more science, yeah, save up that extra turn to, to grab that science you need. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of the general strategy. Here's some combinations that I see with Artemis. And honestly, Artemis is great with anything. Um, if you're comboing with Piraeus, the second greatest wonder, um, in my opinion, um, you know, that's going to make Artemis even cheaper. So the answer is build Piraeus first, then Artemis, and then you win. Uh, seriously, <laughs> it just automatic win. No, it's a, uh, I, I don't think any pro is going to let you grab both, but, um, but yeah, that's a, that, that'd be a great way to combo there. Um, an easy way to grab two, um, so yeah, this is just saying, yeah, I told you earlier that the scriptorium and the pharmacist, you can combo into their double and get a progression token from this one and a progression token from that one. These are two combos that you could get economies taking the coins the opponent gives you. And so that's just some passive coins you get. And then urbanism, you can get some passive coins from that. Um, yeah, you can just be loaded with coins with that combo. Philosophy, you get seven points here and then six points here. Uh, strategy, you can really push forward to military, and then later on when you get a dispensary or the library, if you did already have the dispensary, then you uh, you grab polyuretics uh, and you start burning some coins of your uh, of your opponent, which is great. So here are some other combinations. Now I I just want to say some of these progress tokens, uh, one of them polyuretics would be a pantheon, I realize, but no problem. That that's that's all right. Uh, take all the coin cards. You want to deny your opponent of any coins. Uh, this is just a, a offshoot strategy that I think would be good with the Temple of Artemis because they don't have the Temple of Artemis, so they're not going to get the twelve coins. Where are they going to get coins from? Appian Way gives you three. Um, you're not really hurting if they steal your three with Appian Way. Hanging Gardens, they're going to have six coins, but that's really it. Um, if you take the tavern and the brewery from them, they're not going to be able to have that uh, extra influx of coins, and they're going to be hurting because um, coins are necessary in the game. And then uh, you know later on, you can take the chamber of commerce, support armory in the third age, and get coins there. Just take all the yellow cards and deny your opponent of coins, and that's another great combo that you could do. Now playing with the pantheon expansion, uh, just two types of gods that you want to look at. Gods that give you coins, the Phoenicians. Tannin's going to give you 12 coins. Don't let your opponent take it because then they'll have coins. You have all the coins, you're going to win. Uh, Ball, you keep your opponent low on money because you you uh, make them need to pay more for their resources. Um, and Astarte, so, uh, take seven coins that can't be stolen. I'd say that's the third choice for the Phoenicians. So in that order, Tannin, Ball, then Astarte. Um, and then moving on to the Egyptian gods. So... Remember how I told you in the background that this is uh, the only wonder that actually was destroyed and then rebuilt? You can literally do that in this game. Use Anubis. Destroy your wonder. You get you gained those 12 coins and you got an extra turn out of it. And then go forward and get that extra turn again and 24 coins. There are 12 coins again. Total of 24. Ra, with 12 coins you're going to have enough money to afford even the most expensive gods. And Ra is likely going to be expensive. Um... If your opponent places it next to them, just take it anyways. And uh, your opponent will be like, what? I made it cost eight coins. Too bad. I, I paid eight coins for it because I have 12 coins. Isis, eh, that's third choice. But uh, Egyptian is another one you want to look at. And yeah, you can build your most expensive wonder and hide science card or military card that they need from the discard pile. Don't forget that's a cool ability of Isis. Lastly, the Agora expansion. Uh, what does this add to Temple of Artemis? Uh, you're going to take the Senate, um, and taking the Senate should be relatively easy if you have 12 coins, if you're focusing on any of these two decrees. So you got that plus two blues there. Yeah, you're going to be able to take all the Senate there. You want to discourage your opponent from taking yellow cards. You kind of want those yellow cards if you're going that uh, yellow strategy, um, making your opponent not have any coins. So take one of those two decrees. And then ultimately, don't get blackmailed. That's a terrible card. If you have 24 coins and your opponent takes half your coins, uh, 
you know, that's that's not very great at all. So uh, don't, in the Agora expansion, don't have more than 12 coins at any given time. You should be spending your coins. Um, you just, uh, especially in Agora, you don't want to have that unfortunate event happen. So all in all, uh, that is the Temple of Artemis. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know uh, what you think about the Temple of Artemis. What strategies have you been able to pull off? And let me know if you like this format of video. I'd like to do a lot more of these, not just with the Seven Wonders, but the other wonders as well. Uh, but I'll start with just doing the Seven Wonders and start now with the Temple of Artemis. I thought that would be a good video to put out. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.